Hello there. I'm Cole Edge, one of the developers for Life2. Today I will be showing you how to get your free Life2 HUD and set it up. The first thing we need to do is visit the Life2 store from search and then head to it. So, here is how you find the Life2 store. Click if you're on Firestorm. And I'm assuming it'd probably be about the same for the regular Second Life viewer. You click the icon down here that looks like a search magnifying glass. And what you do, as you see, I've already searched for it before, but you would type in life two. And what you do is hit enter after you type life two, and it will be the second choice or some choice near that that says Life2 Main Store Mall and More and you always want to verify that it is on the Life Sim because the Life Sim is where you will want to visit. So now what we do is we hit the teleport button to visit our store. As you land you will actually see in front of you if you're facing the inside of the store, a vendor that, as you get closer to it, will say free right on top of it. That is the vendor that you want to get from. So, if you have no money, as this avatar has zero lentils on it, you can actually touch or click the vendor, left click, and then choose deliver. And you will see that it delivers you a HUD free version and you hit accept. Now what I will do is visit back to my demo room that I'm using for the uh, demonstration of this video. And now that we have landed, I am going to pull out the package from my inventory that should now be under objects. And yours will probably not be as empty as mine is, but you should see Life 2 meter. And the build may be different or the same as the one that is shown here. But you drag out the box that is in your inventory to the ground and you uh, wait for it to load there and once you see the box you can left click on it and it should bring up the open menu dialog and you choose copy to inventory and you can uh, of course uh, read the note cards that come in the, the package but for the point of this video we will just go ahead and close them and I would say to keep your work environment clean you go on ahead and delete the box that it came in so I right click and choose delete now if you look in your inventory you can actually go to recent to help you out you will now see you have life to meter and of course it would be the name of the box so you open the folder by clicking the down arrow there and you want to wear the meter first so you go down here and you choose add you always want to choose add for uh, the new items that you're adding and then after I choose that I go to the HUD and choose add on the HUD and now, as you will see, everything is loading, and I can go ahead and close my inventory window. Now, as you are first-time player, as this avatar is, it will, of course, say no character above this, as you don't have a character created yet. So, what you're going to need to do is actually click Go to Page on the link that comes up to actually create your avatar on the lifehood.net web page. So, I will walk you through this process.
Okay. Now that we have opened our browser and have our character creation screen in front of us, we are going to want to fill in some required fields. The first name is going to be the name that you want as a role play name. This does not have to be your real life name. This does not have to be your second life first name. This can literally be any name that you want to be in the role play form. So, with that in mind, I'm still going to use Mr. Life 2. So, I'm type Mr. Life 2. And as the last name, I am going to just type player. Because, as I said, you can pick whatever name you wish. Now, I am a male, so I'm choosing male. Next is your age. You have to remember this is your role play age. This is not your real life age. This is not your second life age. This is the age that you wish to role play as. So, I wish to role play that I am 15. Because, as a Fennec, I just say that I've lived to be the ripe old age of 15. Great. Now, on to email. You have to type in a valid email. So, what we're going to do is type in the email that we wish to use. I am going to use demo at lifehood.net. If I could type, there we go. Now, type in the password here that you wish to use to log into the website. This is something that you wish to always remember. There is a way to reset that and I will cover that in another video. As for right now, just type in the password that you wish to use and try to remember it, please. So, I type in my password. And, of course, as usual on about any website you register, you click and type your password again. So I type my password again. Now, there's one very important thing that you need to do. You need to understand and read the end user license agreement. So, you click on that nice little link that says end user license agreement, and in a new window, opens that up. I will let you, at your leisure, go through and read the rules of Life 2 and what we expect and how you should act in the community and those sort of rules. And once you have read those rules, you can close that little tab that has popped up and now click I agree because hopefully to play Life 2, you agree to those rules. So I click I agree and do create character. And it says congrats, your character has been created. Your meter should be resetting now. And as you will see in the next part, you will have a meter that will be functioning right above your head that allows you to interact with Life 2 and start your role play process. Welcome back. Now, when you return to your Second Life window, you will now see that your meter has actually loaded up and you should have seen a message of the day pop up which I will actually um, open my local to show you what it is said so it is said the get fit is officially here we will cover that in another video but you will see the message of the day every time you start your meter unpause it log in etc so now to explain a little bit on what things do, I'm going to close my local window, my local chat window, before I go on to that next step. So, you have your meter now. You will notice these little bars right here that explain what's going on. Well, we have the first one that looks like a little fork and a spoon. These are your hunger indications. Hunger is 
food such as what is sold in the Life2 store and other affiliates. Next, you will see a cup and that is your thirst. That is filled by drinks that you can also buy in the Life2 store or from affiliates. The next you will come down is bladder. Bladder is actually something that you can fix or build that stat by using a toilet that we sell in the Life2 store or you can actually use a roll of toilet paper which is sold in the Life2 store also. Both of those will fill this bar up and meet your needs. Next we have hygiene. Hygiene is when you need to clean yourself, when you get a little dirty. And that is fixable by soap or shampoo or items such as that that is sold either by affiliates or in our main store, again, on the Life Sim, the Life 2 store. Next, you have energy that looks like a bed. So, energy is when you need to rest. You can use items such as a bed or a chair that is scripted to build up that stat. Again, sold at affiliates or the Life2 store. Now, here becomes the interesting one. We now have entertainment. Entertainment is a great stat because it can actually be built by having three or more players around you. So that actually builds on its own if you're around other Life2 players. Now, if you're not around other Life2 players and you need to build that stat up, there are items that are sold such as the Life Boy, which is basically, let's just say like a Game Boy, except the Life Boy form. Um, there's also tablets that are sold by affiliates and other items like that, and um, that's what you use to fill that stat up. Now, next you will notice a diamond down here. The diamond down here is how far along you are on your leveling process. I'm level one because I just began. That will build as you level and gain more experience. So that is a basic overview of what your stats mean and how they function. What you can do is you can actually click the little person icon there just as I just did and it will show and hide your stats. Now, another thing that you need to be aware of before you start your actual life to play your journey is the options menu under the gear. So if you click the gear icon, you will see options that pop up here. Now, you can read through what each of these do, such as show stats, pay player, OOC, AFK, I'm back, website, my stats, resize, piles, and etc. So, I'm going to give you a little overview on what these means. Show stats means that it's going to show your stats above your head. I'm going to click it and turn my stats on so you can see. Now, you can look above my head and see my hunger is 98%, thirst is 98%, bladder is 99%, hygiene is 99%, entertainment is 98%, energy is 100%, and health is 100%. That is really great. You always want to be near or close to 100 to keep yourself from having a chance of dying. Now, I'm going to open the options menu back up again by clicking the gear. And the next function that you need to understand is the pause button. The pause button allows you to actually pause your life to gameplay 
if you need to leave your avatar on and you're going to sleep and you just don't want to have to worry about your stats going down or if you want to leave everything on for life too but you just don't want to have to again worry about your stats so when I click pause you will see that it shows above my head that it is paused now it's only showing pause above my head because I have the show stats turned on so if I click the gear well actually you're unable to cut that off when it is paused so I will actually cover that in just a moment but paused means that no information is sent to our website you will not lose any of your stats and you will not need to take care of those stats so basically you're good and set now we will focus on how to get back into gameplay which is clicking the gear icon and choosing resume so now it's resuming and you will see the meter loading up takes just a few moments and I'll let you watch what happens above my head as it loads As you can see, it does not really take too awful long. It's just pulling the stats from the website to make sure that everything syncs up. And you have loading stats, and great! Now we have our stats back up and our message of the day popped up which again if it was too fast for you to read there you can always click the local chat box button down here and read the message of the day as we discussed before so as I said you can hide that text that's above your head that you've shown before by clicking the hide stats button that shows it to where it's only for you and you can only see your stats by clicking the little man icon up there and you see your stats now there's another way to actually see your stats without having the messages above your head that's by clicking the gear icon and choosing my stats when I click my stats it brings up a box that explains exactly what was above my head earlier just to something that is for you to see and make it easier on you so I click close and it goes away one little last thing to cover before we move on and basically in this video and you begin your journey as a life 2 player is you click the little minimize button right down there if you want to minimize the HUD so I click the button and you see now I just have a little life 2 icon right there which is out of the way and not too intrusive so if I click it it brings everything right back and you're all set and good to go so again I'm Cole Edge a developer for life 2 and I hope that you do enjoy your journey and continue to follow the videos that we post that explains more of what you need to do to be a Life 2 player. Thank you and have a good day.